Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Let's Make a Game in My Lumber. So last time we left off, I had um, just created the menu item um, for like the build menu. So you have like floors and stuff like that. So you can select floors, it'll show you the floors. You can select walls, it'll show you the walls. I wasn't destroying these in here, so I think these are just continuously making more and more blueprints. So I've got to look at that real quick. Inside my player GUI, build menu, main types, no, prints. Oh yeah, there's a ton of them in there. So it's not destroying them after it's creating them. I'm just creating more and more and more on top of each other, which is it's no good. So we have to go back in here. Um, we're gonna go into our script right here. No, that's not it. Connect. Show blueprints. Connect, yep. Uh, okay, so these are the different types of blueprints. Hmm, wait, local. Text button. Blueprint, yeah, uh, okay, so I'm looking for the blueprint types. So the first thing that we do. So when we equip, we create the menu, right? And then the blueprint types are replicated here. And then for each one, we connect the show blueprints BPT name, blueprint type dot name. So let's go look at this function right here. Okay. That's where it is, okay. So this is the parent. We need to, here, let's put a comment in here because comments are always good. Uh, creates all of the blueprints in subcategory. I probably didn't spell subcategory right, that's fine. Four, I comma O in pairs. And then we're gonna paste new build menu dot main dot print get Children, this is going to be all of the blueprints that are currently there. Do uh, O colon destroy. This should destroy all the prints that are currently there. So uh, clears out old prints. So that should correct this section. So if we, uh oh, uh oh. Destroy is not a valid member of text button. Well, how do we destroy a button then? Because that's an instance, right? How do we destroy a button? Hmm. Prince. Get children. Destroy. Well, let's do this then. Um, we are going to have to hit stop. Is it remove? Or did I spell did I spell it right? Destroy. Yeah, I spelled it correctly. I don't have that. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, how am I going to test this? Let's go down to build menu, and let's move it up into the starter GUI. That way I can see it. And then inside here, the prints, I'm just gonna add a text button. So there's my text button. So, uh, if I add a script inside here, it doesn't matter what kind, as long as it's a script that I can play with, I should be able to do uh, scripts.parent colon, Clear all children. Okay. The parent would be the text button, and then that would clear all children. Let's do that. Find first child, get descendants. There is no destroy. There's a tween, tween size, tween position, tween between, and stuff like that. Okay, that makes more sense. So we can actually delete that. It should delete all the rest. Pull this back down into our builder menu. 
and let's do oh, oh gosh tool script mm. so where we got prints this is actually going to be much easier because all I got to do is this and I just call clear children like that possibly maybe I don't know I've never used that one it's actually a first for me clear children is not a valid member of frame scrolling of scrolling frame well what is a member of the scrolling frame okay let's hit stop and let's pull this back up here into the GUI and let's just add in a uh, prints types prints script okay so this is going to be script dot parent colon clear all children that's what it's called clear all children okay that's fine <laughs> it's always the most minute thing isn't it wait did I put that in the right spot yeah we're good and this function paste I hope that's right I really hope that's right so one hey okay, good okay so if we go and look inside the GUI menu inside the GUI menu build menu I look under the prints and there's only four I click the other buttons and more appear they disappear and clear out that's what we wanted and you <clears throat> sorry so <laughs> stop uh, okay what was the other problem that we had um, when we hit F5 and we play we hit the button we hit the floors and the one by one doesn't appear why doesn't it appear okay so let's go back over here let's go to here do, 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 do. Okay, so there's the show blueprints, and we're gonna make Phantom off that part. So we have a we have a function called make Phantom. We come in here. I don't need to actually print these out because we know what those are. And I had floor yeah okay so blueprint type copy we're going to set blueprint blueprint type equals bp type which is what we passed in as our variable up here at the top i had somebody asking me what does bpt stand for it's an acronym i made up called blueprint type so um that should take care of that and then the blueprint itself is a local variable i don't think i used it anywhere else did i no i'm good so then, where's the make phantom part? We want to set this equals BP name. So our blueprint type and our blueprint itself are global variables or local variables to this script up there at the top, and they should be fun they should be accessible by all the other functions. So blueprint type is there print is there that should work oh we didn't put it in the uh, workspace phantom part dot parent equals workspace that makes more sense and then when we uh, and because we're calling these variables up here when we actually hit the E button which triggers the fire server it passes in where is it blueprint type and the blueprint right there so we should no longer get the one by ones we should get the actual part as intended so choose a floor choose one by ones there's the phantom part i should be able to place good now if i choose two by ones oh snap look at that 
That's awesome. B. Let's see. I. Oh, we have to bind B because B is cancel, right? Floors. Eight by there. Oh my gosh, it's working. Now the placement's wrong, but. Because uh, we don't want to be able to clip things. And being being as we are clipping right there, that's that's not good. I guess I could leave it, but I mean... Then you're going to have some really funky builds and stuff. You know? I could, uh, I could give you, like, the plus and minus button will give you offsets. Hold shift to uh, go up and down. Regular plus and minus to go forward and back. Hmm. I'd love to hear your ideas and thoughts. Uh, let's try the walls. Hold on. Uh, where are the walls at? Awesome. Uh oh, we've got a phantom part out there still. The phantom parts stay. <laughs> oh no. So I'm gonna have to make it where if, uh, okay, so if we release the button, we're going to have to, uh, if phantom part, then phantom part colon destroy. That way we don't have, I keep wanting to put semicolons in there. I've been working with Java too much. Okay. Okay, so E, 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 and then I unequip. It didn't destroy the part. Why didn't it destroy the part? It's because it's uh, it's still phantom part, right? Hold on, uh, let's go back over here. If we unequip and phantom part, phantom part equals nil. Oh, that's why. Okay. So we don't want to do that. We want to say if phantom part, phantom part destroy. So basically what happened is I made it nil and then I tried to destroy it, which isn't an actual function of nil. All right. One, two, three. I've got a different color now. Yay! Okay, so whenever I press one. Good, good, good. What happens if I... Okay, there's no bugs there. That is awesome. Uh, what's the biggest one I got? Four by eight by one? Now we're going to have to work on a rotate. Cool. Well, now we're going to have builds ready for you guys on uh, Friday. So now I need an R and a T. So I need to rotate and turn bind. Um, how do I... Clamp the binding box. That's going to be crazy. By the way, this is straight script. This is not module scripting, and this is not object-oriented scripting. This is this is very much string script. I should probably do something about that, but I'm probably not going to. <laughs> so far, we've seen with all of the scripting that I do, it's very much try this, see if it works. Try something else, find, figure out something cool, and you know, I'm just having fun. Um, <clears throat> I would have to figure out can we, instead of using XYZ, can we use C frame? Does C frame cause a restriction? <sighs> Let's do part dot C frame equals C frame dot new colon vector three dot new let's just try that just for fun yeah I didn't like that at all uh, unexpected while invoking callback build hammer attempted to call field new a nil value hmm. 
What? Oh. Okay. So. On, is it lowercase? Yeah, it's lowercase. Psst, silly. I swear, an entire script can be ruined because you didn't capitalize something. Okay. Uh, take off. Let's do the walls. Nope. It doesn't care about the... Uh, see how it's like clipping? I don't want it to be able to clip. I just place a ton of walls there and... Nobody know the difference. I mean, I would. No good. Not good at all. And you can only build to like one side because the uh, it's following that far left-hand corner. Hmm. Stop. So wherever the hit is, C-frame doesn't matter. Part size. Okay, so the mouse hit X plus the phantom part size divided by two. And okay, so what if I just take these out? Well, I think we did this, didn't we? Here, let's just comment these real quick. It just does it right in the middle, and it will not go up at all. So you can only build on a two-dimensional plane, and you're still clipping. Hmm. Now if we do the walls... Like that. And then it will not... go up anymore. How do I make it so it's like, you cannot place, hmm, harm. I guess I could make it move two, which would force a collide. Collisions, oh wait, collisions. Hmm. Collisions. Check for collisions when dragging. Okay, so um, just say say that I've got two parts out here, right? This right here, the collisions, is basically what I'm wanting. So like, I can't collide with the other part, right? That makes more sense. In, in fact, this is like. This is the exact movement I want. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. How do I figure this movement out? That build structure. Because, I mean, look at that. That's that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. <gasps> hmm. How far along are we? We're 19 minutes in. And I'll see if I can't figure that out. How to make a building system like the studio system. And I'm sure there's a lot more. Look, um, do you see how it's got a bounding box around it? I kind of want that for like whenever you're trying to select different items. Hmm. Ooh, do we want to be able to rotate like this? Hmm. 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 Draggers. If I remember right, there was something about dragging. Okay, hold on. Um, view. Not tutorials. Game Explorer object browser. And we are going to search for drag.
Or would it be... Attachment? There's arc handles. Alignment orientation. Alignment position. No, 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 no. It's called ornaments. Ornaments? It's a thing that you put on. Like whenever you make an outline of a box, it's called something. And I thought it was called like ornament. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, for now, we've done a lot of scripting so far. <sighs> Anything else I should add into these? Let's, uh, here, for fun, let's just do this. Let's go over here. And these are what I've got so far. I've got the one by one, the two by two, the four by four, and the eight by eight, I think. Eight by, uh, eight by eight by one. Four by four by one. Two by two by one. And that's what they're named too, so. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. I just want to try something. Um, let's add folder right there. I'm just going to call this um, ETC, etc. 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 Oh, oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Floors. <laughs> We're going to call this one ETC, etc. And what I want to do is uh, I wanted to try doing a ladder. Uh, oops. Let's go ahead and add a part, just a single part, part, just for fun. And let's go ahead. We're not going to change its orientation, but I do want to change its scale and its size. So let's move like that, like that. One, two, three, four. Mm, duplicate. Ooh, see how the collisions? See how that worked? Let's go one, two, three. And we're going to. Hold on. Yeah. So that's three. That's four part. So that's that's four wide. It should be the same width as this. And we are going to go scale. These are going to be 0.5. We're going to go 0.5 this way. We're going to go 0.5 this way. Then we are going to add a new part and a cylinder. And hopefully this will work. Can I move 0.5 down? I can. Nice. I think. Turn collisions off. We're going to move this in. Oh, that's like perfect. Okay, go up one. Duplicate. Up one, two. Duplicate. Up one, two. One, two. Come on. Come on. And one more. So... I don't want to do the same thing that Defaultio did. These are all evenly spaced. But if I take one and turn it upside down, it's going to look funny. We're at 0.5, so let's go like this. 0.5 divided by 2 is 0.255, I think. 0.5 divided by 5 is 255. Or it's 0.25. 25 and 25 would make 50.5. Okay, so we are moving at a fourth of a stun. Move down. That should be evenly placed. I think. So, hold this one. Hold this one. We're going to uncheck the middle. Check it as the last one. And control G. Join those as a model. F2. Uh, 
we're going to call this ladder. And then we are going to move this into uh, blueprints, floors. I'm going to have to select all the children and anchor them in place. I think. Now, does this actually have a position? It doesn't have a position, so I don't know if this is going to work correctly. Let's go into etc. Let's give it a try. I think it's going to mess up. Etc. Ladder. Oh yeah, it did not like that. <laughs> Brick color is not a valid member of model. Um, well, technically it is. Let's hit stop. So instead of it being a ladder, what if we were to union these? So, um, let's see. Control shift G. Oh, wait, sorry. Fine, fine. Ungroup, what is ungroup? Control U, control U is ungroup. And let's do union. Wish me luck. It could be really good or it could be really bad. Oh, it's a ladder. Oh my gosh. Does it actually work though? Oh, it works. Hold on. No way. Now you're not able to rotate it, but. Oh, by the way, my trees are growing. I only had like four of them out there. Okay, can you not? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, 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 I know what's going on. <clears throat> Hit stop. Uh, we still have these commented out, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Undo, undo, undo. Just for now. Because I still I need to figure out the rest of the build. That buildy thingy. Etc. Ladders. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, no way. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, we still haven't rotated or, or turned these things, but there we go. If you guys want to build ladders on Friday, we are totally coming in here and building some ladders. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll have to figure out how to do it with the models, though. That's cool. Do, 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 do. And like I said before, I've, I know I've warned against following my advice on programming and scripting. I probably am doing this completely wrong. In fact, um, there are probably some other master scripters and programmers out there that are going... Code, stop it! You're doing it completely horrible! Stop it! And that's fine. I, d I don't mind. You can tell me that. It's cool. Let's go... Uh, let's go right... here? Whoa. Now, like I said before, I can only build in, like, one direction. But... Oops. <laughs> and it clips like crazy. You know what? I could totally make a tree house. <laughs> Get some walls out here. Doop. And then, uh, let's see. Right here. Doop. Boop. And right here. Boop to boop. Of course, there is no rotate, so that's. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Uh, walls, well, there's walls, and I want a, uh, two by four, two by four. Right there, right there. That way I can have a little window. Right here, right there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to fix the placement system, but for now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Floors, because we don't have things like roofs. 
Oh no, what happened? What happened? No! Attempted to index local context RE a nil value. Context RE. Oh, because I already had E on there. Okay. Okay, so local context r equals uh, mouse dot target find first child. If context r e, then we'll fire it. <clears throat> Unbind action context end. There we go. All right, so can we just continue on? Is it possible? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> that's that's not good. Oh no. Do we still have can collide turned on for the phantom piece? All right, let's hit stop. Uh part movement. Where are we making the part at? Can collide. Okay, so the phantom part is false. No, no, no. We need that as true because if we don't, it's not going to build on top of things. Hold on, let's set this to false. Can collide equals false. I think we should be fine, because the, the actual part, all right, let's go to et cetera, ladders. And we're gonna do floors, eight by one. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we walk up the side? We cannot walk up the side. It is, oh my gosh. So it's definitely a model that, that Defaultio uses. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to uh, walk up the side of the ladder. So like, um, hold on, how do I do this? Let's go to testing. Go to runtime. I want to see the server side. We're going to look at what we've got here. There's context in everything. Can you unbind these things? I don't think you can ungroup once it's running. Can you? Models are bright. Oh, you can. So, um, let's do separate, separate, hold on, uh, separate, and select this one, separate, okay. So these parts here, oh, not that one, get out of there. These parts, oh, that one, that one, that one. These parts right here, these are probably no collide so can collide is off so then if we switch back over to our view uh, testing oh there we go we'll switch back over to our client view that's how he's able to climb up the sides because the edges are not collidable which makes more sense So we're gonna have to figure out the model and how the parts work. And who knows? Maybe by the end of the week we'll have uh, we'll have some working doors and a proper building system. You know, this is only Wednesday, and we're at 30 minutes, so I'm gonna call it. Great job tonight, working through different problems and just having fun building. I am having a blast right now, and. I can't wait to get the game going. You guys can't wait to get the game going. But right now, it's not really a game. There's nothing in here that you can like get and purchase and obtain. Usually there is a goal or something to go towards. Right now, it is pure expression. Uh, I'm going to upload this, publish it, and you can play. It's called My Lumber. 
It's going to be underneath my profile. Um, I might leave a link in the description down below, but I don't, I don't know. Um, all build items will disappear after five minutes. There is no saving at the moment. So, there you go. And my admins will be around to look inside here. And if you're doing something that you're not supposed to, you can better believe you're probably going to get banned. And if you get banned, I have them add reasons right here. Give me a reason. And it will tell me why you got banned. So, just forewarning. Not saying that everybody's going to get banned. But don't do something improper that you're not supposed to be doing and you know it. So... And, I mean, if you just get banned out of my thing, that's better than getting reported to Roblox. So, love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon. The builder tool is here. And, uh, oh, I still got this on there, don't I? And these are still physical parts. Uh, I should probably remove that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Hold on, can I click really fast and... It's coming towards us, it's coming towards us. What am I doing? Oh gosh. What a mess. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. I think I might have already called that out, but that's okay. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon.